All right, how's everybody doing today? This is Mr. Muscarella coming at you, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at Super FRQ number five, part B. Now here for part B, we're being asked to find G of four, G prime of four, and G double prime of four. Now this, we've already done actually the first part in part A, because we're just taking our function that's defined as g of x equals the integral from one to x of f of t dt, g of four, so g of four, that's simply the integral from one to four of f of t dt. So when we have that, we're just gonna roll that function out starting at one and going all the way to four, and we can see that's the area here of this triangle that's above the x-axis. We already did that in part A. So that's a little bit of review for that. So our integral from one to four of f of t dt would give us a value of six over two or just three. So that's it, that's all you gotta do for part A. Now, g prime of four, so this one's gonna be a little bit different. So g prime of four, that's going to make us take the derivative of f of t, or the integral of uh, from one to x of f of t dt. So that's just gonna be f at four. And if I look at the y value, so remember f of four, so four is our x value. If I look at the y value right there, we can tell that that has a value of zero because that's all we need to do. Look at the graph, all right? But we have to understand that g prime of four means look at the y value on the graph where the function value is four. So that's it for this second part, g prime of four. The third part, g double prime of four, that is going to give us the slope. So g double prime of four, what we wanna do is determine the slope where x is four. So if I look here along this line, so let's go ahead and take a look at that, cause that's the line that contains the x value of four. And that's a straight line, so I know that the slope is the same anywhere on that line. So you can calculate that slope any way that you want. You know, you can just simply start here and uh, we can just do rise over run. So I could do rise over run right there. I could start at, at this spot and go all the way up here over to x equals two. Either way, I slice that or dice that. I know my slope is just gonna have a value of negative one. So that's all you need to do for g double prime of four is just find the slope of that function where x equals four. Not too bad. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure you come back and check out the rest of the videos in this series. Thanks so much. You guys have a great day. Peace out, mathletes.